for the last one and a half hours, I've picked up some information that uh, JJ made the last phone call, I think around 1 a.m. And when he was coming, he did go, because he noticed that people were following him. So from this road, he made a turn into Bauleni, where he made a U-turn. And according to the information, when he was joining this road once again, it was stopped and he stayed there up to 4 a.m. This information is from the tracking uh, because this uh, vehicle is installed with a, a tracking device. And uh, it's very clear that uh, this kind of behavior can only be done by state-sponsored criminals. And this is a direct accusation. In recent days, we have seen that this government has become intolerant. Intolerant where it has moved the state and the state machinery to assault the very citizens they are supposed to protect. The very citizens that gave them the mandate to govern and govern within the boundaries of the law. I am seeing an emerging trend of state-sponsored anarchy, if not state-sponsored terrorism. Let's monitor this situation as ours starts building. As I tell you, JJ has been missing from 1 a.m. according to the tracking system, and this is 10.30, which means almost 10, years, uh, 10 hours ago. And there is no information as to whether he's alive, as to whether he's in custody elsewhere, or indeed as to whether he's alive. I call upon the police who are there to maintain law and order, not to be the law unto themselves to up their game, look for this individual and bring him back to the family and to the people that he represents. We are not going to sit idle.